Hello, dear students, and welcome to the GC Math Panel Online. In this particular paper, we are looking at June 2019, Paper 3, Pure Math Statistics. You can visit us at our blog for more of this at www.gcematpanel.blogspot.com. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to leave your comments. When you subscribe, click on the notifications bell so that when you will upload a new video, you are immediately notified. Please watch this video to the end and pay attention to the most powerful remarks that we put in place. For more of these past papers for 2021, 2020, and right down to 2015, just go to www.gcematspanel.com and you find all of these papers to join us for our online preparation, equally go there and you will have so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Question one reads, two events A and B are such that probability of A equals 0 0.85 and probability of B equals 0 0.90. Probability of A union B equals 0 0.95. Calculate the probability of A intersection B. The probability of A intersection B complement. So if the probability of A intersection B, it will be equal to the probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A union B. And this gives us 0 0.85 plus 0 0.90 um, minus probability of A union B, which is 0 0.95. And the result is 0 0.80. Now for the probability of A intersection B complement, this probability of A intersection B complement is the same as the probability of A minus the probability of A intersection B. And I can indicate this here. So if these are the two sets, and this is A, and this is B, so the probability of A intersection B complement. So B complement means outside B, right? So it will be just this region. It will be just this region outside. So from here, you can see that the probability of A intersection B complement is just the probability of A minus the probability of A intersection B. So our result here will give us 0 0.85 minus uh, 0 0.80. And this is equal to 0 0.05. Now state with reasons whether or not A and B are independent. So A and B will be independent if the probability of A times the probability of B is equal to the probability of A intersection B. You know, that is the definition for independent events. If the product of their individual probabilities is equal to the intersection of their probabilities, the AND. So probability of A times probability of B is 0 0.85 times 0 0.9, and that gives us 0 0.80, which is equal to the probability of A intersection B that we calculated in the A part above, right? So we conclude that these events A and B are independent. Now, sub two, a bag contains two red and three green balls. Two red and three green balls. To have a copy of this paper, just go to our blog, www.gcematpanel.com and check on the advanced level after you select mathematics. For other subjects, just go on the advanced level and you select any other subjects. And we're equally begging on you, if you have papers to share or questions, you can forward them to us. We have live WhatsApp classes and our WhatsApp classes and Zoom classes are for pure maths, mechanics and statistics. We have pure maths on Sundays at seven, pure maths statistics on Tuesdays and Fridays at seven, pure maths mechanics on Thursdays and Saturdays. So you can check the timetable on our website, which is in the link in the description below. So this bag contains two red balls and three green balls. And we are being told that two balls are drawn from the bag at random in succession and without replacement. A, find the probability that the first ball drawn is red and the second is green. So the first ball is red and the second is green. This is given by the probability of the first is red and second is green. And since the probability is reducing, that's a sample space, we are going to have probability that is red is equal to uh, two on five. 
and the number of red balls that will be left will be one. Well, we still have the three green balls, but the sample space has reduced by one. So this gives us two on five times three on four. And that is equal to six on 20, which equals three on 10. Now we find the probability that the two balls are of the same color. So this is the probability of red one, red two, or green one, green two. So the probability of red one, red two plus probability of green one, green two. Hmm? Can get a copy of this paper or join us by going to our blog and www.gcematplanet.blogspot.com and click on join. Click on join. You will find our WhatsApp groups to join us A level, O level, and for the different subjects as well. So this gives us two on five times one on four plus three on five times two on four, and this will be equal to two on twenty plus six on twenty, which equals two on five. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We have videos, lessons, corrections, and so much more. You can follow us on Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Share this link to many other students to have access to this free material and encourage them in their study. May God equally bless in your study. For more, to completely watch this video, have the complete questions or answers from questions two to 10, go to our website. It is in the link below. Just click on the link below. It will take you to the remaining solutions. Thank you and may God bless you in your study. Bye-bye.